Prismatic Orchid and I am starting a new series and I think I'm going to title it something along the lines of Bare Bones Beginners um, Guide to Minecraft. So if you are brand new to Minecraft, there's a lot of things to learn. It's a really fun game to play. I really, a lot of people really enjoy playing it, but I really love playing it. And um, there's a lot of just little things that you have to learn in order to play it. And it can be kind of confusing and frustrating to learn all of these things. And I realize that a lot of times people don't really want to sit and walk you through every aspect of the game when you're playing with somebody because they want you to just play the game with them. So without further ado, we're going to start. This is your general, you know, login screen after you've put in your username and all. And you have single player and multiplayer. So we're going to start in single player because if you're just starting out, I highly recommend you start at single player. Start easy and work your way up to the more complicated just mess that it can be. So, you get this. These are actually three other worlds that I had started before. So we're going to start a new world. Brand new. Pretend there's nothing here at first and you just start fresh. So you create a new world and then you have a world name where you can name it whatever you want. I'm going to name this Beginners. And you can choose your game mode. Survival is, you know, your basic generic. It's your normal one. Um, you have creative. You have hardcore. I would say start in survival if you're just learning. Because creative can be a little overwhelming when they just throw every block in the world at you. So we're going to start in survival. So create new world. And it takes a minute. So here we are. This is our new world. The sun is rising. Um, the world is generating around us. As you can see in the bottom of the screen, those little boxes, those are called your hotkey. Then you have the hearts, which are your health. The little drumsticks, those are your food bar. And then there's that third bar in between the two, and that's for experience points. And we'll get into all of that. But first thing first, you start out in your brand new world. This is my skin. This is what my... A uh, user always looks like no matter what I log on to, if I go on to any server. The only exception is if there's some kind of glitch or something. Sometimes the whole skin will be whited out if there's a really bad glitch or sometimes it just reverts back to Steve. If you're just starting out, you probably, you know, you will have Steve. You start with Steve unless you go in through um, Minecraft.com, log into your profile, and you can change your skin. But that's all, you know, just for personalization. You don't really need to do anything with that right away. As you can see, I'm moving around. I use my mouse to kind of look any direction I want to. Then you have your your keys on your keyboard, W, D, S, and A. Those let you go forward and backwards, right and left. Your space bar lets you jump. You have a left click and a right click. We can't do anything with a right click just yet, but your left click will let you hit things, lets you pick up stuff. Um, let's see. Any other movement I can think about? No, not really. So, that is how you move. If you get into water, I don't see any water. Just Oh, there's some water. Oh, we have a nice little spawn. Looks like a village is over there. We'll check that out in just a little bit. But this is water. 
and as you see, if you don't do anything, you sink to the bottom. And the little bubbles appear at the bottom next to all the other bars. If those bubbles run out, you will drown. I do not recommend drowning. To swim, to get up out of the water, you hold your space bar. The same bar you used for jumping, you hold it and it lets you swim up. So, the next thing, you have an E key right next to your W key. It's very conveniently located. You press your E and this is your inventory. It lets you see you, what you look like, this little crafting square. You have all the space for all the things that you want to have on your person. This is kind of like what you can hold in your hand. And then this is like having a magical gift baggie with you all the time. And this is for armor over here. And that is your inventory. To get out of that, you press E again. Alright, so let's get started into the fun stuff. That's kind of the, gen the very, very basic how to move. There's a little hole there. So you see you have these nice trees over here. One of the first things you always do, you start with nothing. So you go over here and you punch some trees. And I'm just holding down the left click button. And that is how I'm punching these trees. It will just keep punching until those little wood blocks pop off. And then you just walk up to them and they pop into your inventory. They just go boop and they're there. And you just pick them up. And here they are. They're in my hand. You can see they're, I'm holding them. I just take down the whole tree. I don't like floating trees. So I now have six oak wood. With my oak wood, let's run over here to this village. Looks like a little village. I can grab some dirt. You don't have to have oak wood or any kind of wood in your hand to grab dirt. You can just get it with your hand, just like you did with the trees. I am going to seal up this village. Once it, yep, I'm going to seal him in. Because I don't want him to get hurt. Don't get hurt, guy. Here's the well. This is a nice little village. It's very, very tiny. Usually villages are larger. Not a whole lot larger, but yeah, larger. Alright, so, sorry, I just got sidetracked. Um, so we have, this is a door. I popped his door off. I'll explain that later. But, um, so you have your wood. You have this little crafting section. If you put a wood block, I just, I right clicked, well, okay, I left clicked to pick up the item out of my inventory. I can drop that. Now I don't have any of my wood. I can go pick it up again, left click to pick it up, left click to put it down, left click. You can right click and place just one. If you hold shift with your pinky, you can right click and it will let you just kind of drag and drop. Just kind of play around with that a little bit. But you get wooden planks and you just left click. I picked up those wooden planks. So now we turned our wood into wooden planks from that little just putting it in our crafting area. So from your wooden planks, one of the biggest basic tools just hugest pieces of necessity you're going to have is going to be your crafting bench. What I did there, I just right clicked and I just dragged it while I was holding that right click and it just spread out, you know, I just drug it out over the crafting area and then you get the crafting table. Now this is going to be very, very needed. You need your crafting table for almost everything else in this game. So I'm just going to kind of, I'm going to bunk in here with you. Hi. We're buddies now. Welcome. Oh, you have a table. That's lovely. So, let's see. We're going to plop down our crafting table. A lot of people say crafting table, crafting bench. Either way, they're the same thing. So you, you 
left click to break blocks like so you right click to place blocks so we're like how I just plopped down that little piece of dirt I just right clicked that's all it was and I right click there's my crafting table I right clicked again that's how I brought up my crafting table now just like in the inventory we have this little crafting area in this one we have a 9x9 nine nine crafting area and this is your standard crafting area you know this is what you use for making almost everything else in the game so we're gonna make some more oak planks you have different kinds of wood but we'll get into that we're gonna start with oak planks and let's see to put two oak planks on top of each other like that you get a stick and for every two you'll get four sticks you just left click now we have sticks um, one will give you a button but two will give you sticks and from the sticks you use those to make tools that help you get better materials um, we're gonna start with a pickaxe because it is minecraft and you will definitely need a pickaxe for mining so you put two sticks just like we did the wood one over top of the other and then since we don't have really any other materials to craft with right now we're going to use oak wood planks you do one two three and that gives you a wooden pickaxe yay um so from that we're I'm going to pick our crafting bench back up. Lots of people leave crafting benches everywhere. I, I tend to kind of hoard them a little bit. But, yeah, we need a torch for this guy, but we'll get to that. Oh, here's another person. Hi, person. Hi. Okay. So, I'm just going to jump right down here. This looks like a nice spot. We're just going to start mining pick up some stuff get some of that out and then we use our pickaxe because if you break you can break see how that's cracking like that you can break a stone block with your hand but you don't get anything from it so you want to use a pickaxe so that you can actually see how those little you started with stone in the wall and then you got cobblestone is popping off of that wall that's what that is Whoop. it's getting kinda dark hold on hurry 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 I need at least nine we'll come back to this with it getting so dark oh my goodness I'm loving this spawn there's so many different things here it getting dark we are gonna run inside and this guy went inside so I'm gonna just pop this door off and I'll explain why I do that later okay so now we're back in here with our with our buddy hi buddy so we have our cobblestone and we have crafting tables and I just I stole those doors. I'm a door thief. So, we're going to plop our crafting table back down. And with this, we're going to make a furnace. So you right click and you can drag, or you can place each one by right clicking individually. This is the recipe. They call these recipes the different patterns you put in the crafting table to make different things. This is the recipe for a furnace. You take eight cobblestone is that eight? yeah it's eight eight cobblestone and you put them in this little circle around the edges and you get a furnace so now we have a furnace so we're going to plop down our furnace very small area to work with guy so plop that down and you right click that and this is the setup for a furnace now you can put coal and charcoal in this bottom and you can burn different things in the top to make different things you can um, I guess I'll demonstrate some let's see we don't have any coal but that's okay because they added a nice 
little option for us where you can actually burn oak wood planks or you can burn wooden pickaxes but we, we don't quite have enough cobble yet so we're not going to do that yet but you have these oak wood planks and I'm going to put you can put um, wood blocks in the top and see it just kind of it starts lights the area a little bit and it starts burning and what we want is we're after charcoal with this and this is our charcoal works exactly the same as regular coal it's just a different item so it is charcoal and you can make charcoal that way to get started in your new worlds and it kind of helps that you don't have to dig looking for coal if you don't see coal right away now this is the recipe for torches one stick one coal or charcoal either one will work will give you four torches so now we have four torches and so we're gonna put a torch right there and we probably have you see those those little creatures out there those are called mobs you have different kinds of mobs and it is nighttime so it all of the mean nasty mobs all like to come out at night so we are just gonna kinda wait out this night since we don't have a bed or anything yet we're just gonna kinda chill inside here with our buddy and wait this night out and I will pick up once that night is done um, but yeah that that's our quick little beginning I will start again and we'll get the basic tools once it's day alrighty well it is now day um, I waited out the night and now it is done so we're gonna head out here and see all of the mean little nasties are go oh there's one mean little nasty this is a spider and the funny thing about spiders they spawn in the darkness like all of your other hostile mobs but the funny thing about spiders is when the sun comes up they're no longer mean unless you hurt them you have to hurt them first and then they get mad and then they'll come and hurt you back but if you leave them alone they're nice this is zombie flesh because we apparently had some zombie visitors in the night and when the sun came up they all burned away I don't like zombie flesh so we're just gonna we're gonna leave that alone okay so what were we doing before it went dark we were mining yes so we're gonna go back down to our little mine spot and kind of get some more cobble because we want to get a nice set of just basic tools basic tools to use how much cobble do we have not a whole lot not a whole lot and the better tools you get the easier it is to mine but we will work all up to that so we're gonna get some cobble I'm gonna plop a torch right down in here cuz all of your mean nasty creatures they spawn in the dark and if you light the place up you won't get mean nasties but it can be an extensive extensive ordeal to light every inch of playing area so there are different ways to do that why did I pick up that zombie flesh I don't know I just did so we have some nice cobble we got our crafting table I'm gonna plunk our crafting table down again and do a quick thing for tools so let's get I'm gonna turn all our oak into planks let's get some sticks oh that was a creeper and it almost killed me I almost died right there that was very very bad of me 
I should have definitely scouted the whole area for creepers because as you can see he just created a nice little hole um I guess he must have blown up a little distance away from me because I didn't take a whole lot of damage there I only took half a heart which creepers usually do much worse But yes, that creeper tried to kill me. So I'm just covering this little hole back up. Hi, piggy! Oh! Why are you mad at me? Go away! <laughs> Alright, I don't see any more creepers. So, back to the tools. Okay, so we already know you can make a wooden pickaxe. Well, you can make a stone pickaxe. And a stone pickaxe will mine your mine your materials much faster. It'll, ma it'll last much longer. This little bar right here at the bottom of the wooden pickaxe, how it's already a little green, um, means that I already almost wore it halfway out. And we didn't even mine that much. So the stone pickaxe will... At, will last a lot longer. And the next thing we can make this is the recipe two sticks one cobblestone you get a stone shovel. This will let you pick up dirt, sand, uh, gravel. Now you can pick up all three of those things with your hands but the stone shovel will make it faster. Then the next thing we have a stone axe and that'll let you get wood a lot faster. Like, even though we can get it with our hands, it'll be much faster to do it with the stone axe. And there's one more, oh, no, there's one more with two sticks, and that is a stone hoe. And you use this for when you get into farming. We'll use that later. Um, then, really important thing, you have, this is your recipe, one stick, two cobble, this is your stone sword. All of these mean little nasties running around. We now have our stone sword, which will let us hit back, basically. <laughs> but yeah, that's our, vi that's your standard, you know, beginning setup. That you really, you start and get those basic tools together. We got a furnace, crafting table, we got, you know, our different stone assortment of tools. And from there, you start getting into other things. So I'm going to end that episode at that. We've got all our basic necessities. Um, I think when I come back, I'll get into food since my, my uh, food bar is looking kind of shabby where I've lost a couple of um, of those little meat sticks, little drumstick things for our food bar. So that is episode one of Bare Bones Beginners. And we will see you next time. Bye-bye.